What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys and gals, what's going on? Don't ever wait for your doctor to order blood tests. With Private MD Labs, you can get your blood test prescription online in under one minute and go directly to over 4,000 lab locations in the United States. They offer every blood test imaginable at affordable prices with highly accurate results from tried and true state-of-the-art blood testing diagnostics. In fact, I've been using Private MD Labs for more than a decade. Their blood tests are much more in-depth and accurate than any at-home pinprick or worthless saliva test. Skip the intrusive doctor questions and get the exact tests that I recommend. Be proactive and get your panels today. Go to privatemdlabs.com forward slash JC to take 15% off your order. Send you guys love and light. (laughs) Hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you might be around the world, I am Jay Campbell. And you are watching the Jay Campbell Podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my StreamYard virtual studio by an amazing, amazing woman. Her name is Dr. Stephanie Rimka. Stephanie, what is up? How are you? (laughs) Hey, Jay. Well, you know, I'm great because just talking to you off camera, was it's made my day. (laughs) (laughs) Stephanie, by the way, has the best hair of any person (laughs) who's ever been on the Jay Campbell Podcast. And that is unquantifiably 100% correct. Let me give you guys her uh, bio. She is a uh, doctor of chiropractic, BA, BCA, and is a holistic brain optimization specialist focusing on integrated neurotherapies to identify and address the root cause of mental illness, learning disorders, and chronic illness. She is the author of an amazing book, Codes of Longevity, the winner of the People's Choice Award of 2020 for Best Mental Health Practice in Atlanta. She is a BCIA certified, BCN, Walls Protocol certified, scientific advisory board member for New You Life Corporation, and last but not least, CEU certified chiropractic instructor through the state of Georgia. But I actually met Stephanie through Instagram because she is actually a influencer clinician, clinician influencer, whatever you want to call it, which is very rare in the world today to actually see a person who actually works in the medical community who knows what the hell they're doing on social media. So <laughs> it's an honor to actually have you in on this podcast and we could go so many directions. Uh, real quick to the Jay Campbell audience, as you guys know, I don't really bring on anybody who's not like super advanced consciously. And I started reading her post one day and I was like, oh my God, I didn't even know her. I know she was friends with some of my friends, Danny Vega being one. And I was like, Stephanie, can you come on my podcast? And she actually knew who I was. And I was like, holy shit. So here we are. Here we are actually today. So honestly, she's like messaging me today on Instagram saying, dude, what are we going to talk about? Ancient aliens, like brain brain disorders. I'm like, dude, we're going to go wherever we want. So let me just ask you, because we did just have the same conversation off air. It's today is December 30th. We are one day away from going into the great apocalypse, the revealing (sighs) of 2022. But where, what is your take, Stephanie, right now on the state of the world, and truthfully, like, how crazy is it going to get in 2022? Wow. Well, you know, Jay, I, first of all, thank you so much. I am a huge fan, and I'm not blowing smoke. That's up amazing. I, I'm, I'm. That's amazing. I'm, I'm humbled from that, so I appreciate uh, you're, it. You're, yeah. I, I'm grateful for people like you who are lay people that took a passion, you know, and took their own pain and, and of illness or tragedy of decline yep. and health, whatever, and turned it around and said, I'm, I'm going to find a way to help leverage and, and help other people with this. So thank you. Um, I received that. that, you know, and I'm a proud non-medical, I'm a not Rockefeller trained uh, person. So I had vitalistic training, holistic training. I learned nutrition. Um, and I'm kind of one of those people that uh, I'm a very dopey, dopaminergic kind of brain. That's just kind of like, go oh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm a little bit, you know, nuts as most of us are, like you are too, right? It's just the nature of how we are. We want yes. more and more and more. Um, and with that, you have to find a balance of figuring out how to be in the here and now. 
So because I recognized that in myself a long time ago, I was like, yeah, you're going to have to learn to chill out. Like, are you going to become an alcoholic or drug addict like everybody else in your family? So I fell into meditation and yeah. kind of the whole woo-woo world um, of consciousness that I didn't even know what that word was, but I was drawn to it like at five years old. You know what I mean? Like, of course. Oh, okay. So, and just, you know, through the journey, you know, I don't post a lot of stuff of, of the woo-woo or the consciousness. When I do post any physics or something, most people are like, I don't know what that means. What are you talking about? <laughs> and so I'm like, yeah, I just leave that for the private conversation. So I focus on, you know, brain performance and brain waves and all this stuff. And people want to talk about chemistry, you know, like biochemistry and hormones and neurotransmitters. But at the end of the day, none of that really matters. It's really, we're all electromagnetic beings of light and that's just the matter slowed down to the point where I can measure it. Right. So that's really what I do, but I have to slip that in at the end. Cause they're like, tell me what I should eat, you know? And I'm like, Oh, they're, you're cute. Cause it doesn't really matter as much as you think. Stephanie, but this is the universe lighting people like us up. Like I always say there are no coincidences, only synchronicities. But I mean, what you just said, you just had like three quotes that I will like say. First off, you said I'm non-Rockefeller trained. I mean, you and I could literally do an entire podcast on how the yeah. Rockefeller family and foundation has poisoned the yeah. well. Everything, right? So to talk about what's going to happen in 2022, I mean, that's tough because we don't even know what's happened for the last 2000 years and all actually we don't really know what's happened for the last 20,000 years it's been a lot of lies half truths myths erasures you know we're a species with great amnesia yes. we think we know a lot but we actually don't and the right. more we can stop the more i can stop as a, as a clinician as a mother as a human as a, as a embodied soul to go maybe i don't actually have that right maybe right. What if I'm wrong? What if this doesn't, what if that's, what if all the physicists were wrong? What if all the, the textbooks are wrong? What if we st start over? So for next year, how crazy is it going to get? Ugh, it's tough because um, I have to, my humanity as right. a mother, right. I get worried. You know, yeah. I have a 16 year old son. And so I have right. to make sure how much I don't project of my own fears of like, sure. what sure. is this world going to look like and how sure. much I have to protect him. Right. And there's what I know when I go into my meditation, when I go into different projections, when I lucid dream, the kinds of things I can see if I, you know, have different. Um, well, let me, let me, let me so what I'm saying, I think I think good things are coming, right. but I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of pain and chaos. So like when you when you tear down a building, it's very messy and then to right. build something in its place. So. So I don't know. I really hope something good is coming, Jay. Oh, so, so you said a lot of things. Let's unpack what you said. Yeah. So from entropy comes creation. You know that. There is going to be more darkness before dawn. Yeah. I see 2022 as the great unveiling. Now, again, people have been brainwashed again, as you said, so much bullshit for 2000 years and, and further back than that. But people think the apocalypse is something different than what it really means, which in the Greek etymology, it means the revealing. Really so nice. what is happening now is that everything is being revealed. Yeah. Okay. Like every single day on Twitter or Instagram or any social media place, they are showing you, <laughs> I don't care at this point. It's what, so obvious, Jay. Right, right, right. Yes. So the people that see this for what it is, which is obviously, thankfully, not just me and you, right. um, are the people that don't see it because you had an amazing comment off air and I want you to not get in trouble, but you know, to talk a about this are the people that are not seeing what is again, plain to see if you have eyes to see just hormonally unbalanced. And so when you're so hormonally unbalanced, you have no comprehension of truth. Okay, well, so I don't remember exactly what I said, but let me say this. So that's an interesting thing. And I'm probably going to say something that's going to make some people think I'm crazy. And I just don't care at this point. Exactly. So I think they have several things going on at play, right? I've been really questioning myself, like over the last two years, why are some of us, like the question of like, why are some of us immune to this apparent mind control? Exactly. Right. Like what, what is, what is happening here? Is it because I really said me and my friends, I'm like, Hmm, I haven't owned a TV since I was like 23 years old. Right. Is it because right. I don't own a TV is because but right. I do watch some movies sometimes. Sure. I, you know, kind of figure it out. Right. 
So we have the idea that hormones and chemistry, neurotransmitters, blood sugar, you know, all of the hormone stuff create this storm, like your weather situation in your body, right? It's the basis of who you are. Is it a hurricane? Is it a thunderstorm? Is it or a peaceful sunny day, right? I talked about that lays a foundation for how you're going to respond, how you're going to be wired, you know, what's the brain going to do? Then we have structural issues. We have, you know, how is the structure of your brain? How's the structure of your nervous system? Have there been, you know, you were born with some type of things that make you more one pathway faster or stronger than the other type of thing, right? Are you fight, flight, or freeze? That's just that those are primitive reflex. Those are in utero reflexes. That's that's not going away, right? So we have that at play. Now I will have to tell you if we're going to get into the woo situation and looking at what how our genetic code, there's some obvious mutations, chromosome two, let's sure. say there's many things that look like this doesn't look like evolution right play and what it means to be human i've been trying to figure out what it means to be human what is a human today versus what a human was 20,000 years ago 50,000 years ago and maybe there's multiple versions of humans already here that we just don't really understand and so looking at that like what if there's just something within the dna which is a magical structure exactly it is, it is a shape form. It is a sacred geometric shape form that's holding information. Right. In and of it's because of its shape. It's not yeah. about the SNPs. Everybody wants to become obsessed with the SNPs. I can get information about that, but the SNPs only care because of the geometry. Right. It's right. Only because right. of the shape deformation. Right. right. Or you don't have a hedron, your tetrahedron. What is what is happening with that helical? And by the way, it's base twelve, not base ten. Anyway, continue. That's what I'm saying. Like the whole thing. I mean, we even say a pregnancy is nine months. No, it's not. It's 10. I mean, we call vitamin D a vitamin. It's a fucking hormone. I mean, everything, words have yes. meaning and we keep changing the words and the definition. It's an inversion. It's an inversion, I mean, it's an inversion and a perversion. I, I have yet to figure out a side note why Christians call him Jesus. It wasn't his name. I can, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it, a perversion too of the Roman Catholic. It's a perversion because it's related to Zeus, but that's a side note. So yeah. if you're looking at like, well, what if, what is the nature of our genetic influence? Where did we really come from? And, you know, at this point, I'm really, the only way I can reconcile some of this, the psychopathy I see, you know, like for me as a, as a, what I consider, I think I'm human enough. And it, when I became a mother, I became much more sensitive empathically to things that were going, I was always highly empathic and intuitive, sure. but now it's to next level of what yeah. I can feel. And the only way I can reconcile women doing things like torturing children or rape. Like right. I just didn't believe women could do that. I'm like that makes right. no sense. Only men could do that. Right. But no, it yeah. turns out women can too. I really, I feel more comfortable thinking that they're alien. I'm like, I don't think they're human. I think we're here to some creatures. And so maybe there's some percentage. Like if you're 75%, you know, original human or more, right. you can't be brainwashed. Right. But if well, you're the opposite then they're very easy to control because there's all you have to do is read this book, The Murder of Reality. Oh, by Pierre, Pierre Sabak. So I know Pierre. I mean, I don't know yeah, him. Pierre, yeah, no, yeah, Pierre is a very close personal friend of mine. He's in this insane. Book, His knowledge, like I just listen to him on podcasts. This book conclusively proves what you just said is accurate. Yeah. It's I don't so, give a shit if you want to think so that both evidence. of us jumped the shark. It's 100% yeah. true yeah. that there is another species that is hidden in the root etymologic nature of the language construct of this planet and they have inverted and as you said perverted is the better word yeah they have inverted and perverted and they are laughing at us all the time through television and or i should say yeah. tell well tell live vision yeah. and hollywood yeah. that is where the magic which is dark magic most of the time. There is some white magic, but it's mostly dark magic. That's where they're inverting everything on yeah. us, Stephanie. Right. And so what I'm saying, if you're of that, the, it's really helped my heart to not have anger or hatred or no. th think someone is stupid or more. Yeah. No, because yeah. let's look at it like that. If they're that easy to tell them the vision, if they, exactly. I in college, I watched guys get on stage and be hypnotized by some yo-yo right. the school. And he literally hypnotized people and right. made them jump around like chickens and cluck and do ridiculous right. things right. in front of 300 people. So exactly. if some guy can stand on stage, you know, and do that to somebody, you don't think with the technology, I can, I can oh. take you into my office Dude. and I can change your brainwave state with my machine. Exactly. I can make you be alpha or theta or gamma. I can make you go hypnagogic. Right. I can make you go into right. your subconscious at will. 
Right. So you don't think other people can, and this is equipment I can buy as a clinician. We do it on purpose. You pay me to do it. Right. Exactly. So I'm not so naive to think what, I have no idea what the CIA and the FBI and everybody else can do and what the Russians can do. Are you kidding me? Right. So I, I, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I, I do see, I kind of align with more like some of the catastrophic. I do think there's going to be a lot of death because some of these beings will be so easily hypnotized they'll walk themselves off a cliff that's exactly right okay so dude you're amazing i i wish i would have brought you on my podcast a long time ago um so there's a lot to unpack what you just said and you know there is other species there are other life forms disclosure is happening now in real time spider-man the multiverse is disclosure uh, i know i saw it on christmas my son i'm looking really at phenomenally profound movie Literally profound movie, right? So they're, they're, they are now giving, again, those with eyes to see and ears to hear, the reveals, it's coming now, it's co It's just, it's coming everywhere. Even The Matrix 4, which is garbage, is got three or four scenes in it that they're like, what the fuck? I mean, you got to rewind I'm it. So glad I'm excited, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. I mean, I mean, Doogie Howser, whatever his name is, I think Neil Patrick Harris is his actor's name. He literally plays the architect of the Matrix in the part four. And he has stories where he's, the answer is given about the question I asked you, like what is going to happen? And he basically says the sheeple, whatever you want to call them, the sleepers, the unaware, the people who have not had, because you talked about this, you, you, you say a lot of things. <laughs> the introns. So, so the latent DNA are intron. So yeah. the people who have not had their introns fire on and become awake, aware, you know, unhypnotized to what is happening. Um, he talks about them in the movie. Again, Neil Patrick Harris is the architect of the Matrix and that they will always be asleep. And then, he, and then he gives the answers as to why and like what is happening. It's, you know, again, it's souls are evolving at their own rate and speed. But as you know, a lot, and you just said it, a lot of people here are NPCs. They're blips in the matrix. They're backfill people as Dolores Cannon called them. They're not real human soul beings. Right. And so they're in the midst of all of this. And so it takes people like you, like me, who are, Doing the mindfulness training, the meditation, the inner work, the contemplation, all that stuff, grounding in nature to get to stillness so that you can have a pure heart so you can truly discern what is truth and what is falsehood. You know, what is strategic error? Because as you know, it's in the third dimension, it's not really up to us to figure out everything that's happening. It's up to us to realize that spirituality, the indwelling presence comes when we shut our fucking mouth and stop, you know, being, doing, 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 and just be. Yeah. It's, it's connecting with that, as you know, you know, early age, you find out what I call the light of being, which is just literally sitting there in stillness and, and doing nothing and, and turning off the drunk monkey of your mind, of your, you know, the survival programming that's going like this. With somebody like you and I with a lot of dopamine, it's a lot harder. But when you get there and you figure out how to do that, like everything is given to you. You just learn it. And that's, a, the, here's the beautiful thing, like the idea of DNA activation, I'm going to circle back to that one, because Please. people think that means something magical. It doesn't. You don't need to see a special healer. You don't need to take a DNA activate. People charge for DNA activation. They, you, know, you know, like, that's fine, whatever you can do. But like, this is the power we all have within us. Like, and what the DNA is, like I said, it's a sacred space holder of memory and exactly. a connection to our ancestors. It's right. the Akashic records in a yes. source. It is the nature of who we really are in this, this power. And we've yeah. tried to, you know, yes. take it down to this mechanical, eh, this, and we separate. And it's like, that's why we only have these small number of chromosomes. They're like, wow, how are we this complex? Because it's all about the shape. It's the way the shape yes. And the way charge through the universe. So the way, you know, let me just say, that. I don't know if you believe in the ether or not, because not of everybody. Course. I don't okay. believe in it. I know it exists. So, you know what I mean? Not everybody like that. Physicists don't believe in ether. Right. So like that's a Steiner concept. It's Schmeins. Schmeins. Yeah. yeah. A, you know, people say, oh, I study physics. And I'm like, okay, well, I probably follow the crazy ones that you think are idiots. So but they don't talk about the ether. So really, if you're looking at all this, it's a super fluid. Like everything yes, is. Exactly. Fluid. 
Exactly. It's about charge rotation. And it's everything is just about charge and how it rotates, right. how fast it rotates, it's resistance to rotation. That's what time and matter, everything mass, it's all it is. And the way we're allowing the charge rotation to move through, you know, our DNA or, or not is how we're activating or not activating who we really are. And it, it really is as simple as learning how to properly meditate. That's what these mystery schools were. That's ultimately. exactly right. That's exactly you know, right. So I want, I want to go back to ways something. to make it better and faster and all kinds of stuff, but you can do it old school <laughs> be quiet and, and start going within just, that's what, that's how we're born. You know what I mean? So the way the brain waves work on, you know, like Delta theta, you know, alpha beta and gamma, the waves from slow to fast waves. So I record and look at those things all the time with brain imaging and it will, I didn't really make the connection. It was like an aha moment with a patient after I was doing this for so long, when I started to connect my worlds of like, I loved all this weird religion in, in, in ancient Egypt stuff. And I love Nassim Haramein. And I did all the stuff that made no sense as to all of it together. And it made total sense when I realized, when I explained to a patient, so I'm trying to put your brain at 7.83 hertz, which is the Schumann resonance. I'm sinking your brain in harmonic coherence resonance to the coherence of the earth. And I finally was like, what did you just say? Whoa. Like, wait, like I've been saying the same thing and I'm doing it to put you into a hypnagogic state so I can drive you into your subconscious so you can go healed old trauma wounds and scripts and you can rewrite, re, you know, rewrite your software. It'll be so easy and painless and you'll, your whole life will be different. But when I said, what's the connection? Why do I care so much about Schumann resonance? Why are we trying to do that? And then I understood the earth is, is a giant magnet, you know, and electromagnetics. And I had to study electricity, which I didn't know anything about any of this. I'm not an engineer. I didn't study this. I wasn't even good at geometry. So the spatial relations of this, and it all led to understanding, no wonder I've been meditating for 20 years, right. just to try to calm the fuck down. That's all I was trying to do. Like, right. Make right. sure you don't become a drunk like your brother, right? You know, like you got to learn to chill out, right? I just it was thankfully known. Well, anyway, we start, we're born, and we're a ton of delta, ton of delta and theta, because we're, we're just born as infants. We're supposed to be incredibly internally focused. The only external focus we have is with our mother. Right. And we really, we're just one being as far as we're empathically, exactly. it's still one unit. You're not two things at all to, to until you're much older to figure that out. And then we slowly become more and more externally focused as we age. Right. But then our society forces us, you know, daydreaming is bad. Don't just sit there idly doing nothing, which is all theta and alpha, the beautiful meditative internal states where thoughts are just down. You know, you're connected to exactly. the you're downloading. You're downloading. Everything just comes to you. You just grab at whatever you want. It's like whatever is supposed to portal into you comes. And you're like, oh, well, that, that's it. And the whole thing, you just get it done. But if you have to be, you know, work in a school or work in a factory, you're completely externally focused. And so you're basically in like third to fifth gear all the time. And people don't know how to come back to neutral, which is the right. alpha state. Right. And now they have like theta healing and alpha healing. And it's just trying to get you to a place where if you just go lay on the sand or sit in the ocean and just are quiet, like you said, for 20 minutes, the earth will naturally put you right. there. And then if you used a little bit of focused, it's, I call meditation really, it's focused relaxation. Right. It's intentional relaxation. Right. Exactly. You will drive your system into that. Let the earth help you. It always will drive it faster. And things will come to you. And once you feel that state, then if you do it over and over again, then you can have these, you know, transcendent, you know, hallucinogenic, you can have, you can have you know, mushroom and ayahuasca experiences without any of those things. Absolutely. I've had yeah. it, you know, and then we just use those to kind of help us maybe get there a little bit more frequently or to teach the system what that is, you know, like here, that's what we're talking about. Recognize it. So when you do it again, you won't be afraid of it. You know, that's why we all see those psychedelic sacred geometry right. when we're in there, because that's what's really exactly. here it's in the ether. It's all rotating that's charge implosions, making geometric shape, which is like the DNA. Right. So you don't need to do anything magical, you guys. You just have to be consistent. You know, that means you have to consistently meditate. I mean, it's it's a real thing. Hey guys, what's going on? If you're looking to level up your life from a mind, body, and spiritual perspective, join the fully optimized health private membership group today. There is no better place online to discuss hormones, peptides, fitness, fat loss supplements, and even raising your consciousness with an elite tribe of men and women. You also get to speak to me directly every single week in the Ask Me Anything. Join today.
Go to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up and I'll see and talk to you soon. Yeah. I got to tell you, I have a profound love in my heart for you. I, 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 you know, <laughs> I, listen, I know that you and I have been together in the past. Like oh, okay. as I listen to you, you turn on, you're turning on introns in me. Like I, I'm telling you, so I have this theory. I love that you said that. I love that you said that. I have this theory. Okay, now this is a true story. I've only said this to a couple people. I've never done this on the Jay Campbell podcast. So in 2019, I went to Peru and I was molecularly altered from being in the Sacred Valley for 13 days. You know, my wife and I and our uh, my wife's sales director from a real estate team and his wife went and it was just, you know, we paid the, the best indigenous guides. We did everything right. And when we went to, this is insane, but obviously, you know, is there's no coincidence, there's only synchronicities. But I went to the, the, the morning of Machu Picchu. We stayed in the hotel at the, in the village right below. Um, and, you know, in the morning, you got to get on to get the bus, you know, because you got to take the bus to the top. And the freaking bookstore right there, you know, at the base was open. And it was like 5.55 in the morning. And so as I walked over Stephanie to the store, I'm like, this is insane. The light from the sun rising was on this book in the store. So I walked into the store and I was like, this is bizarre. And the guy that was working there literally was like, senor, he has your name. (laughs) And he literally just gave me the book. Now, this is a true story. I read the book on the right. It's only 137 pages. It's called Return of the Children of the Light by Judith. Bluestone Pollock, which is clearly a freaking pseudonym, yeah. Incan and Mayan Prophecies for a New World. So I almost read the entire book. I'm a speed reader anyway, and you know, on the ascent. And from that moment for the last four days or five days of our trip, I think it was six, five or six days of the trip, I was mesmerized by everything that's in here, the teachings. But then it was when I, at that point, I realized that my job was not to be Jay Campbell, the hormone guy and the health optimization guy. It was Jay Campbell, the raise your vibration, raise the consciousness guy. And I was to go back and I was to unite the children of the light. And so I say that story because you are one of them. You you started saying at the very beginning of this podcast about like, we are literally electromagnetic beings. I mean, Walter Russell says, you know, and obviously there are many others. I, I want to give credit to where it's due, but all we are, is literally vibrating particles, electrons, you know, whatever you want to call it, molecules and standing waves of the divine mind, separated only by will and intention. Mm-hmm. When people recognize that we are energy and infinitely ever expanding and not going to die, yes, these physical meat flesh puppet, you know, avatars will expire at some point. And maybe that, that can be debated too. You know, the yogis can keep their physical body alive for a long time. But at the end of the day, we have to get to a place and you're doing it. I'm doing it. There are others like us doing it. Well, we teach people that literally we are literally, as you said, just electromagnetic beings. We are not these physical bodies. How can a, how can a vibrating particle and standing wave get COVID? Please answer that question. (laughs) Right? People create their reality through their mindset. Yeah. I don't know. But see, that's, but see, we've been taught all the systems, you know, all the Abraham. Purposely. It's been taught to you very purposely. And even the nature of language and words in and of itself, language in and of itself made the left brain dominant, made a very masculine thing. The language itself changed our physiology. It changed our genetics. It it eliminated the goddess, you know, so that's religion and language arose at the same time. So those three primary religions were given to divide us. You know, they've been, they're they're just completely, I I think personally, I think they're just. No, of course, you know, I'm with you. To us to, you know, corrupt and control and create these three warring tribes to always just keep us distracted. So we can't go inside. We can't realize who we are. We can't realize we're powerful beings of light that are just part, like you said, part, an intentional, we chose to have an intentional experience to, to, so consciousness could continue. All of us are that. You know, it, it, I, I do like the Wayne Dyer. I thought he did a beautiful way of explaining yes. this. Yeah. You know, how God is like a pie. He's like, well, God's a pie, you know, and we know it's an apple pie. But you take a slice of pie, you know, you have 20 slices of pie. Each slice of pie is still apple pie. Exactly. So that's what people are. Like, 
God is all of us together and each of us are a representation. So whatever that, but the religions are very much designed and society is very much designed to where you are not, you are separate. You are lowly. You need a usurper to have any communication. You are deemed worthy or a sinner or not. And you must talk to this other person and they'll give you penance to do, or you must give us money. You know, there's all kinds of things. These people are supposedly barriers to you having some relationship with the source of all life, which is really, you're just came from, you're, you're, you chose to say, I'm going to just make myself become a snowflake out of that cloud. You're still snow. You're still water. I mean, it's still the same thing, right? It's just in a different form. So that's where people, I, I really think it's been this massive trick. If people knew, you know, who they really were, I might deal with suicide all the time. A big part of my practice, 25% that say suicidal ideation. If you knew what you really were, you would never want to harm yourself. That's you, exactly you know right. I mean? But and well, you so look, I posted this this morning. I posted this this morning. And, and again, now that I'm talking to you, I know why. Right. So I yeah. said, when you choose to become aware of the indwelling spirit, which is, again, that divine presence that you're talking yeah. about, that we get from meditation, stillness. We become familiar with the Christ of our own consciousness, the oneness that you're talking about right now. Yeah. The second yeah. coming is when the Christ becomes the consciousness of all mankind. And Stephanie, this is how profound this is right now. Like I have goosebumps. When I wrote this this morning, doing my inner work, my wife, and I always write it in a piece of paper before I post this. My wife sent me this picture from Palm Desert because she was walking in the morning at the exact same time that I wrote this on my piece of paper. I swear to God to you. It, because that's how it's supposed to be. You're a part of the tapestry of all exactly. this. And everything works for you when you know th- exactly. everything's in my highest and best interest because I'm a part of, I'm a divine exactly. spark of light coming exactly. from everything that is good. And of course, where there's light, there's darkness. There cannot be light without right. it. But it doesn't mean it's out to get you all the damn right. time. Right. And so if you stay focused on that light, and this, you just create everything and attract it to you. That's why you're lucky, let's say, because you say, this is how it's going to be. And I declare it to be so. And so the wife will text you or the picture will come in. The book will show up. And Dude, I was literally sitting there. Yeah. I, well, first off, because I was writing, my phone was in my pocket and I did. I, I, everything is silenced. But, you know, I always look like I write down yeah. my dates and my times. And because I sometimes will come back to it and I'll post on social media like a month later. I mean, it just depends. But I was writing. I was sitting in the darkness. It was, you know you saw the sun. It was just starting to come up and it was pretty much in the darkness. And I'm behind Mount, whatever it is, uh, Jacinto, which is 11,000 feet in Palm desert. So it was just like insane. And she's walking through uh, the other side or whatever. When she took that picture, I'm not kidding you. She sent that picture at the moment that I wrote out that entire tweet. It was like you said, it, everything is happening exactly as it's divinely intended at all times. It is. And that's a tough thing. That's a tough uh, pill to swallow sometimes because sometimes the things don't feel good. Right. You know, sometimes yeah. things I know it's that's a tough one. And I I never liked that lesson. I think I learned it's it the true. most when I got pregnant and it was a horrible pregnancy. I was sick the whole time. And then breastfeeding was so hard. Like it was like a very we were having a really hard time with the whole situation. I'm like, yeah this hurts. Why yeah. really was kind of saying, why would something, and I'm very much into primal and what's natural sure, and sure. we're divinely born to know how to do these yeah, things. Exactly. So why would this hurt? And then I had to realize, well, you know, just because it's natural and it's the way we're supposed to be like, do actually every, every rite of passage has pain. Of All course. babies go through like birth hurts. Yes, uh, exactly. hurt, the birth hurt, breastfeeding had its issues at times. And then, it, and then it goes away. And then there's a, there's a bliss. There's a different, like through that is this moment, baby's teeth, you know, they have growing pains. It, they go, they're supposed to have a graduation of painful experiences to build resilience and tolerance and have these experiences and see how, so then you have some contrast also. So when you do get ecstasy, you have ecstatic bliss, whether that's from a tantric sexual experience, whether that's from a, a, a blowout meditation experience, whether that's from, you know, MDMA. yeah, anything, anything. You use a psychotropic, you do have a, a spiritual transformation. You know, you climb Mount 
Everest, any of these things that these journeys can take you through a, a massive consciousness upgrade and a revelation about yourself and your relationship to the cosmos. But there's typically some discomfort involved right. in all of those. Otherwise, right. you would never be able to have that. So I, I, I'm not saying I'm so enlightened that there are a few things in my life I don't want to happen. I don't want to know what it's like. I'm pretty sure I, I just I'm, I don't like to say them out loud. You know what I mean? Right. But I've seen people go through them and I've yeah. seen them come out better. And I look at it. It always is that way. It you know, always is that way. You, the, who the they soul, are. The soul cannot evolve without contrast. Yeah. That's the whole purpose of our existence. And, and as you know, the majority of us that become aware as you and I are also went through some crazy shit. You can't get yeah. to this level of awareness without having, again, the cliche is the dark night of the soul. I mean, I attempted fucking to kill myself. I mean, I lost everything, which was nothing, but at the time it was everything to me. It was things, it was material value. It was my, my, my reputation, my name, all this stuff. You know, my wife kidnapped my kids. I mean, I had all these excuses and limited perceptional views of things, but all of those, you know, occurrences made me into the person that I am today. And I am blessed to be able to look back and say, these were not epic fiascos, collapses, debacles. They were growth opportunities, even though I didn't label them at that moment in time, because I wasn't aware enough to yeah. now look back on and say, I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be having this conversation with you if I didn't go through those things. So yes, it is a difficult life in third density. And we incarnated into these physical bodies to make this choice to learn and grow. And look, and I say this, and maybe you don't agree with this, but like, it's my awareness that source consciousness, God, the energy and frequency of all things and nothing learns as we learn to, this is about this giant yeah, I think holographic. So. Yeah. This holographic it's constant feedback. It's, all, exactly. it's always constant feedback. It's a, it's a, it's a exactly. way of mirroring and reflecting, right? Mirroring. I can see, I can mirroring. learn about myself when I look in a mirror. Mirroring. So that's, we are all little mirrors to take the information back for self-correction upgrade. But you can't say that to the Abrahamics. They flip out. God is perfect. He doesn't care no. what you have to say. You know who I love? I love, um, <laughs> I use this term. Billy Carson calls him Sky Daddy. <laughs> I heard him say that. I'm like, Sky Daddy. Exactly. I said, I, at eight years old, I said to my mom, I was like, here's the thing. My mom is born again Christian. I went to Catholic school. My grandfather is a Baptist wow. reverend minister. So I was in church a lot. Sure. And all of the, I had to read, I know all of the, all, I read all of it many times. And I was just like, I had to say, here's the thing. I'm going to tap out on this whole thing. I mean, I get it, but like, I don't get it. I'm like, can we all talk? Can we break this down? Because none of this makes any sense to me. So by the time I was in high school and I went to Catholic school, I was writing these long religion papers, arguing my thesis was. And this is, I didn't know any of that. I didn't read anything, but I was like, what? They're aliens. Let me explain to you why. Whoa. And how the halo was a reflection. They, like they had some exactly. type of little thing the on them. Plastic. Yeah, the equipment. I don't know, yeah. This is the way the light is. I had I talked course. about the spaceships. I'm like, you guys, I'm reading course. it right here. And the nuns were, were none too happy with me. And my friends were like, why are you bothering? Why are you putting yourself? I'm like, I don't know, because this makes no sense. This sounds as fantastic. I mean, my theory, aliens make way more sense. I don't understand. How, how is this? How are any of these? Things? I mean, I, I'm, I'm down with the archangels, but why are the angels? They're not just aliens. I don't understand. So that was me as a child. That's awesome. Right. And I didn't know anything about, I didn't know who Graham Hancock was. Right. Aaron Lund, like, I didn't know. Right. It. Now I know who all this stuff is. And I've sure. read, you know, yep. Archeria S. I, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah. lots of us were having the same thoughts. We just didn't yes. know what to do with it. And exactly. I see, like, I tell people, I'm like, I like Jesus energy. I mean, don't get me wrong. That dude, what? myth, real, whatever. Right. He, that's, I'm down with him. That Christ exactly. consciousness, compassion, exactly. love, service to others, yes. all of this. Yes. I'm just not down with the, the lies and calling Mary Magdalene a whore when she was <laughs> his master, when she was the <laughs> one who, who was his teacher. You know what I'm saying? Way, Stephanie, you know, you're a scene, right? 
Oh, I don't know about all that. Oh, <laughs> you are an Essene. We are both Essenes. Yes. Maybe, you know. I probably, if they were around today, I'm sure I'd want to be one. I'd be like, hi. I literally guarantee you were one. We were, that's our consciousness. Like, as soon as you said Mary Magdalene, I was like, okay, I was waiting for her to say I that. Love but, uh, her. When I, I started reading from her a lot with patients, she is, oh my God. Yeah. I mean, look. Talk about a perversion. All, all you have to read is the, the original Gnostic teachings. Yeah. The original Gnostic teachings have so much about Mary Magdalene, who she really was. And again, this has all been covered up. The, the, the Cathars or the Cathars were literally eradicated by the Christian church. Yeah. yeah the Pagans. Catholic. They killed everybody. Pagans. Killed everybody. And that's the thing. You try to explain <laughs> this to people and they just kind of look at you. My, I mean, my mother's one of them. I love her. I was with her. She's 76 and loves the church and all the things. But I had to be like, Sorry, I don't Mom. understand why you guys are like this, but you don't even know his real name. I know. Yeshua. Yeah. yeah. Like, why do you, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand. If you're, if you're this passionate about it, why don't you study it? They've been, They've been brainwashed. They've been brainwashed. I know. I know so lovely people. They, they and don't I, know, you know I have friends who are Muslim and Jewish and Christian, right. and it doesn't, you know what I mean? Uh, to it's me, literally it's, all the same. It, it is. But it's a lot of same division, and you are not You are not God's source. You do all of these things, and you must have a man to talk. So I think I was a little girl. I also was like, this whole thing is jacked up. How come the nuns can clean the altar, but they can't walk on it? You know, so I was a little girl going, I don't get the whole game. Hey guys and gals, what's going on? If you're looking to use peptides, make sure you go to my number one source, Limitless Life Nootropics. For healing with BPC-157 and TB-500 or fat loss with Ipamorelin, CGC-1295 and AOD-9604 to immunity with TA-1, thymus and alpha-1, Limitless has a huge selection. Go to LimitlessLifeNootropics.com and use my code J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I send you guys tremendous love and light. By the way, how, I got to ask you, how old are you? Are you 50? Are you my age? How I you? turn 49 next month. So we're the same age. So I, I turn, I, I'll be 51 in February, but I ran out of Catholic Church at six years old the back and my dad chased me out the back at six and was like where are you going i'm like that's a cult i was sick <laughs> i mean i was like they're cannibals i literally said to my mom what do you mean you're drinking the bo body and blood she's well <laughs> they literally say it's transformed i don't understand but this is cannibalism that was me at nine i said i'm tapping out have i don't get it book? have you read this book the three waves of volunteers in the new earth from dolores cannon I haven't read that one. I know Dolores Cannon, but I you have got it. to read this book. So I, I literally just started to read this book at the beginning of this year. And I read all of the Dolores Cannon books and I never read this one. And somebody was like, how could you have not read this one? Cause this was her last book. This is after she did this. This was published four months before she went poof. Oh. And it's, I won't, I won't, I won't give you any spoiler alerts, but for someone like you, You'll probably read the whole book in a weekend, but it's pretty uncanny how that book talks about people like you and I and how we are seated. And there are many like us, by the way, oh. but we are it's seated. You say that. You may tell you, it makes me really uncomfortable when you say that. Cause I don't think, you know, when people say awake, even when you say you're, I'm like, am I awake? I don't really don't know, Jay. I'm just doing the best I can. We all are. Time. You we know what I mean? Are at all times. And I don't want to be you, superior. I don't think we're I'm not superior. Me. We're not, none yeah, of us are superior. Yeah. None of us I, are superior. I just, I just strive. I just, I, and I think anybody well, has it in them to be looking to get better, to get quiet, to look, to know thyself and to exactly. connect you to the source that is everything. And when you realize that consciousness to me means knowing that, you know, I, I don't have to know you, Jay, but I can, I love you. Yeah, you know, I love I you too. To, you know what I mean? Like yeah. because of who we are to well, each I'm other. I'm glad you said that, Stephanie. I, I don't consider myself superior. Um, you know, the whole, you know, I, I know you're familiar with the work of Dr. Hawkins, but mm -hmm. you know, he, he said, you know, everything is happening exactly as it's divinely intended, yeah. always and always. But in, in reality, everybody is walking the same path. It doesn't matter your level of awareness, whether you completely are unconscious or you're massively conscious, which I consider both of us conscious. But it doesn't separate us from people who are unconscious because, as you said, we are all divinely connected. Yeah. All of us are through that indwelling presence connected yeah. at soul 
level. So nobody is better than anybody else. It's just, I just like to talk about it in a way of like, Hey, it's cool to be aware. It's also cool if you're not aware. I mean, as you know, what's the state, what is the statement? Like ignorance is bliss. You know, yeah. that doesn't mean you're right. ignorant. I might not want to spend time with those people. That's exactly. I'm going to be very clear. I might not want to spend a lot of time. Energy. Yeah, energy. it's a lot. It is. It's an energy investment. I don't want to entangle with that. I choose to find for me. I want to all, that's partly why I always dated people 20 years older than me often yeah. hung out. I like, because I want, I want to grow. So yes. I want to be like, I want to look up and have them pull me up with them. You know what I mean? So I, but I have to, it's that contrast, you know, like, you know, do using that vibrational level, right? When you look at somebody who's, who we know, or probably walking around at a level of 50, right? They're in the shame or, the, or manipulation. Right. Right. And we have to remember they have their place, you know, yes, like they do. That, Absolutely. That, Absolutely. that dark, that horrible, I mean, Fauci, let's just say it. So like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not a fan. <laughs> so you know, I have to go with that little evil creature has his place, like that little shame that they you all do. They all play a role. Little, little Darth Vader dude. <sighs> That's his right. role, right? Yeah. And yeah. so, if there wasn't yeah. that, we we wouldn't have Luke Skywalker's arise, right? That's the exactly Jedi right. stand exactly up. Right. And uh, no, we will stand for the light. We will train for the light. We will, you know what I mean? So I get it, even though I'm like, I'm an Aquarian and I often wish for utopia and unicorns everywhere all the time. Um, and it's, it's hard sometimes to go, okay, that's okay. That's because That's what he's supposed to I do. Mean, I think it is coming. I, I think what you said at the very beginning of the show, and we can end it by that because I, I, I honestly do think it's coming. I hope I, you're I, right. I, I, you, you are right. I mean, in my meditations, I see golden age. My wife and I literally took a nap yesterday after we came back from shopping at the desert outlets in Cabazon and we were laying down and I woke up. We both, it was like a 15 or 20 minute nap before we we're going to go eat. And she woke up before me and I was like, don't wake up. Don't wake up. The angels are protecting us. And she said, I was talking to her in my sleep. And she said, dude, I've never seen you like that. And then when I did wake up, I literally felt that there was like a blanket of feathers over top of me, keeping me warm. Cause it was cold. Yeah. You know, in uh, our room where we are, cause we, she had the uh, balcony our, in our hotel room, the balcony was open and it was, it was just, it was so bizarre. But anyway, to that point, and you get the final say, I do see the golden age, the new earth, whatever you want to call it being architected in the near future. I don't know what that means, whether it's three, five, 10 years, six years, eight years. I will tell you this, Peter Diamandis, Ray Kurzweil, the transhumanists, they're also making the same prediction about the singularity. So you got the angel people, you got the pro-human, the pro-divine, keep us sovereign, empowered, and free. And then you have the transhumanists, whatever they are, the biobot, cyborg, Borg, hive mind, what if, and you answer this, what if we create both realities that the people like us want to choose that, you know, empowered, divine, sovereign reality. And then the cyborgs and the hive minds want to go that way, which is the metaverse. I mean, my God, that is all insane to me, yeah. but is it possible that we create both timelines now and humans just naturally acclimate to where they want? That's what I always kind of thought was going to happen. I mean, I just see yeah. it like the portals will just split. Exactly. People will just disappear. You'd be like, I don't know where they all went. Like, where did everybody go? Like, where the I haven't seen those. That's not woo, woo by the way. That's logical at this point. Yeah, it just makes total sense. I mean, the the planet is. I mean, just looking at in terms of what physics can do and what how you know time space and it's just charge rotation and all of that. And in, in, I don't really think it's out there to even think of that anyway. But there's also. <laughs> I mean, the planet is littered with Stargate portals. I mean, yeah. you just look at any of the ancient ruins and all these these spiritual locations, like why Machu Picchu heals. You can just go to the locations and they start to heal you. They start doing their magic. I mean, the pyramids in and of themselves were like buildings built for immortality, right? This is what they seem to be doing, these energy centers on these on this place, the Nadi of the earth, right? So that being said, I don't I kind of do think see it as both where I think there's going to be this bizarre destruction and whether I, I think we might even have a coexistence on the same kind of physical plane for a while and we're mm -hmm. going to see the separation yeah and it's almost like you know we talk about pole shifts and these extremes I don't think yeah. it, it's gonna be like it's done it's kind of like what I haven't heard from them and you're just going to think of your right. friend and you're like 
Oh, yeah. I used to know somebody named Susie. That's yeah. why you have to read this book because it's oh, literally okay. like you just teleported or telekinetically. Yeah, that's what I think is, it's going to just be the information. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be that. And again, my only concern I always have is just like, as long as my son's with me, I don't really care. Right. <laughs> you know, but, like, but you know what? Your you son, I mean? my daughters, all of us chose to incarnate in here we all have our own paths to follow there's a possibility that he won't or my kids won't and, and you you're right as a mother you want to be there as a father i want them to be with me but like i also realize that i have to you know freely and yes this is difficult in the third dimension but we have to freely allow them yeah. to do and be exactly who they are going to be. I mean, look, my daughter right now, 11 years old, you could probably work with her and help her. She is so into vi the vibration of victimhood. That's what I say. Um, she just, everybody, yeah. it's not her fault. Yeah. My 13 year old is like us, but yeah. again, I love them both equally and I respect them both, but it's like, how do you raise, you know, two children in the same home with the same influences and environment. And one is just so diametrically opposite. And as you know, this, this is the story yeah, of the soul. soul. Yeah. She's just, you're just, you this know, is the know. story of the soul. Yeah. That's what she chose. And I'll just tell you a little bit of that is normal about the 11, 12 year old. They're a little bit like that. And they start to lie. It's like the thing they got to figure out. But I feel like my son's a little bit of that victim thing too. And we got to be like, dude, this on you. Trust me. I'm scared. I have to deal. I have a 16 year old. 16 year olds, you know, opposite. They want to oppose a little bit because they need their independence. So I'm the super holistic, super granola. He grew up a certain way, you know, fluoride, water, chlorinated, never touched my son's body until he was about 13 years old. So now I have to deal with, oh God, please, please don't, please don't rebel right now. This is too, this is too life or death. <laughs> I you are so literally amazing. I'm going to bring you on and talk about your practice because I want people, um, I mean, do you work with people like remotely uh, yeah. now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I want to bring you back and, and talk about your things that make you the who person you are. I mean, I, this podcast was profound, but I, I want, you know, to get more, but if people want to work with you right now, they go to brain and body solutions.com. Is that the best place? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. That's you, dude, you are, like I said, you are my soul sister. Uh, I, I, I am absolutely certain that I have spent different lives with you. And I am telling you right now, <laughs> I'm literally, I, I would wager everything I have, my heart, my beingness that you were in a scene and that we were, we right. were in those circles at some point in time in the past. And again, it's just an honor to rediscover and connect and spend energy with you. And thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Jay. It's been, it's been a great honor. You, you are literally amazing. So you guys go to brainandbodysolutions.com. Uh, if you're on the East coast or really anywhere in the country and you need to speak to a what I would call ascended master of real life <laughs> living a scene. Dr. Stephanie Rins uh, Rimska, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Remember guys, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. I will see you guys very soon. <laughs>